Hi guys, how are you? This is Agent Lifestyle Stories. Uh, welcome back to my channel. If you're following uh, this channel, you would know that last week we did some uh, wild harvesting rosemary and did some teas and uh, checked the colors and taste and stuff like this. Uh, we were having some fun. <laughs> But uh, also this week, I was uh, planning to do some wild harvesting with different herbs and uh, planning to shoot some videos because we have this excellent uh, weather uh, nowadays. It's almost spring, uh, everything is green and we have the sun, uh, we have the sea. <laughs> Uh, we're done with the olive trees, we got the oils and everything, so uh, we are ready to have some fun. But looks like we got some serious problem. And I'm going to talk about this problem uh, right now in this video. And uh, we'll see how things uh, come out uh, in the following days. Uh, 20 years ago, uh, we were uh, having a good time during the summertime and suddenly we started getting earthquakes. But it's not like just one earthquake. In every hour or so we were having a lot of earthquakes. And uh, it actually continued about one month almost. And uh, finally, uh, we were scared, so I moved to my car. <laughs> I got my computers and everything and moved to my car and uh, stayed uh, in my car about uh, one week. And then it suddenly stopped and uh, nothing happened, uh, thanks God, because it was about uh, three or four in magnitude. So it wasn't a big deal, I guess, for this area. And uh, actually, we got a lot of uh, geothermal uh, resources around here. So having earthquakes uh, actually normal uh, because we have a lot of mountains, we have a lot of valleys and things like that. So uh, if you have mountains it means you have a lot of cracks a lot of uh, faults uh, in geological terms so you're gonna end up with uh, some shaking in that area <laughs> but it's not a big deal if you are having uh, numbers like three four even five in magnitude is no problem around here you just feel the shaking and that's it but last year, uh, I was actually uh, shopping uh, for some piping stuff uh, in a uh, store and earthquake started. And uh, this time it was really uh, shaking. <laughs> it was terrible. And we got out of the building and I just show uh, there was a building about six or five stories building uh, up front and uh, that building just on front of me about 20 meters something it was shaking like hell <laughs> and i can see the building moving like this and i was just laughing uh, it's the power of nature uh, it's it's just shocking to see that solid building shaking like this uh, and then uh, it stopped and nothing happened uh, but uh, people got scared and many people uh, actually stayed outside uh, in a tent or, or it was summer time and it was hot so Many people actually in sleeping bags 
stayed outside about one week and then everybody uh, forgot what happened and they moved back into their houses. So we got a lot of uh, earthquakes around here, uh, but in general, uh, where we live, uh, we don't have uh, much destruction, I guess. So we just forget about what happened in in a week or so. So uh, no problem with the earthquakes, I guess, at this point. So I guess uh, the one thing that uh, maybe we should uh, know that why are we getting so many earthquakes around here? As you might know from the media, uh, actually what happens is uh, planet Earth is actually covered with a lot of uh, continents. Uh, in geology, actually, it's called uh, plate tectonics. We have plates moving, uh, always moving on the move, uh, moving in different directions. And we have this Asia uh, continent moving uh, toward Europe. And we have this Africa continent just colliding uh, with the Asia, moving uh, toward the Europe. And this collision actually creates what is called collision zone. And you would have a lot of cracks and uh, faults and earthquakes and stuff like this, uh, because this is going to be an active zone in terms of uh, tectonic uh, geology and uh, so having a lot of earthquakes is not the problem in this type of collision zones uh, not just the faults and uh, mountains and valleys and uh, river beds all this topology you would have okay but also uh, you would have some volcanoes and uh, we have, uh, as this collision zone, we have one uh, dangerous volcano right here about 40 miles down this way, <laughs> which is called uh, Santorini. <laughs> so it looks like we're going to be having a lot of uh, fun uh, nowadays, uh, if you're following the news. Today is 2025, February 10th, uh, and uh, for almost 10 days, we are having a lot of uh, small earthquakes, uh, and uh, we can easily feel the earthquake even in 40 miles uh, that are ha happening in uh, Santorini. And uh, mainly people are afraid of uh, earthquakes, but uh, I think we got another bigger problem here too. Okay, uh, I don't know if you are interested in uh, history, but uh, some scholars say that when uh, the Santorini erupted uh, 3,500 years ago, uh, they got a lot of uh, smoke out and they got all the ashes all the way to Egypt. In Nile Delta, even today, they can find the remnants of all these ashes. And also, the other thing is, uh, almost uh, at the same time, uh, Prophet Moses and all the Jewish people in Egypt, they were trying to get out of Egypt and they were trying to go to uh, Red Sea or Reed Sea, uh, whatever the case is. And uh, scholars say that tides actually uh, caused by this eruption uh, enabled people to pass through and then also covered up the sea and killed all the Egyptian army. So this is the story they're telling, but of course, we don't know. We we don't have any solid uh, evidence about this, but it's a nice story to uh, match with. 
But in any case, it looks like uh, we are having a lot of earthquakes nowadays, but uh, in the following days, maybe most probably in three or four days, uh, we will have some uh, ashes all over the place, and I'm not sure which direction it will be, but we will see some ashes and uh, see if it's going to be something like that happened in 1950s, that's going to be okay, I guess. It's a small uh, eruption. It was a small eruption. But if it's going to be something like 3,500 years ago, uh, we will be in big trouble. <laughs> so, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see you guys. <laughs>